Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to set exclusions in Windows Defender in Windows 10. Windows Defender, basically the rebranded version of Microsoft Security Essentials for Windows XP through Windows 8, is an anti-malware and antivirus security suite that comes built into Windows 10. So while it can be very useful if you do not have an antivirus installed, on your computer and you want to still be protected. One of the main downsides to that is it will sometimes have false positives. It might detect legitimate programs or files maybe you don't want to be detected as malware and will automatically try to take action against such files. So in today's tutorial I will be showing how to set up exclusions for certain programs that you might be trying to run. Now in my example I have a Firefox setup installation media on the desktop right here and let's say for example that Windows Defender is blocking this file from running in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to and work around that so that you can get whatever program you're trying to run in my case Firefox up and running so we're going to start by heading over to the start menu and then we're going to left click on settings because it appears that Windows Defender is more, much more integrated into the system than Microsoft Security Essentials was. Um, it's actually kind of embedded within the settings window, believe it or not. Um, it's definitely a little bit more bundled with the Windows 10 suite itself in more ways than one. But anyway, getting back on track here, we're going to head underneath the updated security tile at the bottom right. And then we're going to left click on Windows Defender on the left side here. So if we scroll down this list underneath exclusions, we can see that there's a little description that says Windows Defender won't scan excluded files, making your PC more vulnerable to malware. However, this is a little bit misleading because it really will only exclude in any um, processes that might be started from it. So just, I mean, I think it should be pretty much common sense here, but do not exclude something that you're not 100% or fairly confidently sure is fairly safe. Um, with that out of the way, just left click on add an exclusion right here. So you actually have a few different options here. You can exclude a file, a folder. You actually exclude an entire file extension type. I would highly uh, not recommend doing that. I really don't recommend doing a file type in general. And then you could also exclude certain processes. File type. But the processes could be useful if you have a specific process that might be getting blocked by Windows Defender. So that can be very useful as well. However, we, for the purpose of this video, we're going to just be excluding a file in particular. So we're going to click on this. And then we're probably going to be prompted to locate the path of the file. And in my case, it's actually located on the desktop. So I'm just going to select that and then I'm going to left click on the button that says exclude this file. And we can see we have our exclusions listed under here that appear now that we have one here. And if for some reason we decide that we do not want this file excluded any longer, you can just click on it and then left click on the remove section all on this page. Again, you have to come back onto the settings page in order to change this stuff. And once you're done, you can pretty much close out. I don't believe you actually need to click on save or anything like that. If I actually go back underneath Windows Defender here and I check out settings, I was just confirming one of my initial thoughts, and that is you actually have to go underneath settings to make changes. In earlier versions of Windows Defender and its earlier um, predecessors, you would actually have a settings window in which you could change settings in. So I guess they really don't want to be redundant, but just um, nice to know. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.